All right, I have another tutorial ready for you. This is another type of wash and go. Kendra has a high porosity. It definitely takes well to moisture and the products penetrate through her hair very well because um, that makes a big difference on the types of products that you need to use, especially products that have moisture. It adheres very well to your hair. And low porosity means that it doesn't. So if you ever put product on your hair and it just rolls right off, you definitely want to make sure that you condition your hair very well. I know that Kendra conditions her hair a lot, so that's probably one of the reasons why she has a very high porosity in hair. So you definitely want to make sure you use mask and conditioner that have very hydrating, moisturizing product. So today I'm gonna to do a wash and go on her using our setting mousse and a little leave-in conditioner. Even though her hair is very kinky, it looks like 4C, it's very lightweight. So I'm gonna use a little bit more product that has a little bit more lightweight to it. So I'm gonna wet it first. The product always works better when the hair is very wet. We shampooed her hair with our repair shampoo and the repair conditioner, which are very hydrating also. We also shaped her hair a little bit because you want to also have a great cut with your natural hair. So I'm going to use the leave-in conditioner. It has avocado, jojoba oil, amino acids. All that's really good for your hair. And I like to use a nice little generous amount, emulsifying it so I can get it through her hair. I think leave-in conditioners are great too as a, you put that on before you put your curl products on because it also helps to, you know, break the hair down and you know, help open, start opening that cuticle so the product can get in there. But you can see her hair takes very well to product. Use a little bit more. You know, I'm generous with product. I'm not chintzy on the product, y'all. Kendra, you know me. Before I put the mousse in, I'm going to use a big tooth comb to comb her hair. Make sure the product gets through her hair. Always a big tooth comb is really great to work with. Again, I like to make sure I hold the hair when I'm combing the ends out so I'm not pulling the hair. Make sure I'm getting it from roots to end, getting all the tangles or any loose hair out. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to the movie set mousse because you wanna be what? Carpet ready, like some of my clients that I do. <laughs> So because, again, her hair is very high porous, I'm gonna use the setting mousse as a curl product. But we also use it for blow drying. We also use it for roller setting, but I also use it as a curl product, especially on people who have very light hair. Even though her hair is like a 4C texture, it's very fine. So you don't need a lot of heavy product on her hair. She likes to wear her hair more fluffy, and you know she likes it to stand up and have volume. So it's great for natural hair. See, and I'm just using my fingers to get the product nice and separated in her hair. I mean, this is what I call easy peasy right here. Kendra hair is a great definition, but if you'd like to add more definition to her hair, you can also take a little rat tail comb and just kind of twist it on the ends and create more separation in the hair. Just kind of twist it and let it go. If you really want to have great, healthy, natural hair, you've got to use products that are hydrating and moisturizing. Not only does it help with the health of the hair, but it also helps with the style. You get better results when you use products that have moisture than products that dry your hair out when you wear natural hair like this. This is another version of Wash & Go. We use the Movie Setting Mousse and the Leave-In Conditioner. It can stand up, you know, she can get a, like a nice, funkier, version of this natural hairstyle. So I'm taking a pick and just kind of lifting it at the roots. We did a little twist technique on the ends just so that it gives it some separation and texture in the hair. I'm gonna come in with the root and I'm gonna lift it a bit just so I can create more volume. And because we use the mousse, it's so soft, it dries really fast. And so I'm just gonna kind of lift it till I get it to where I want it to be. But I'm not gonna comb it all the way to the ends because I wanna keep that Separation on the ends. Look at me, Kendra. Okay, okay, yes, okay. This is a definitely an easy at home hairstyle. And that's why you're wearing your natural hair. Give it a little style, a little shape. That's why I put a little side part, swept it to the side to give it a little drama over here. And after a couple of days, when she does this at home, it'll take on, you know, more shape and more volume, and she could just rock it natural. 
just another little tip for you.